Shadows on the Tesh is a, a house that was built in the 1830s for a family named Weeks, David and Mary Weeks. And they were sugar farmers, sugar planters. And their family went on living at this house for four generations until the last family owner of the house died in 1958. And when he died, he hadn't married and didn't have children. So he left the house and all of the contents to the National Trust for Historic Preservation to be a museum. And the National Trust opened the site to the public in October 1961. So today is our 50th anniversary of being open to the public as a museum along with a number of other places like Tabasco, it certainly is one of the draws for people to come to this area to visit. And in addition, we try to be really uh, a, a part of the community. For instance, right after our ceremony today, we are the first balcony in a local program that involves the Shadows on the Tesh, the Bayou Tesh Museum and the Iberia Cultural Resources Association. All of us have a common goal of preserving history. And so it just worked out great. We came together and decided that we were going to put on one or two events a year. This is our second year that we are putting on New Iberia Beneath the Balconies, which is a wonderful event, very unique. We've got all these wonderful balconies down Main Street of New Iberia. And so what we're having are little theatrical vignettes, little small performances on each of the balconies. And the, each of these performances last about eight to 10 minutes. And we will have the whole group here, hopefully at the shadows for the very first performance. And then we'll have our jazz band to second line down the street from one balcony to the next. We'll have a total of nine performances. And we think that it's going to be a wonderful event that everybody will enjoy. New Iberia is, um, is just a gem and this, this Shadows on the Tesh is a center point for our Main Street. It, we, um, we have a historic Main Street program, and the Shadows on the Tesh is definitely a focal point. We won the 2005 Great American Main Street Award, and of course I think that the fact that we had this historic site contributed to the fact that we were considered for this award. This, um, this house has had a tremendous economic impact as well as a historic impact on our community. We bring in about $750,000 a year in Iberia Parish and tourist funds, and I attribute quite a bit of that, that funding, that revenue source, to visitors that come here to see the shadows. So, you know, it's certainly um, a gem in this community that we treasure, and it's part of our culture, and, um, and so we celebrate today the rededication and the 50th anniversary of this wonderful site. It seems like lately, almost every weekend, we have some type of event. We've had the Sugarcane Festival in September, we had the gumbo cook-off in October, and then now we're celebrating with an art walk and this 50th anniversary of the Shadows on the Tesh. So um, we certainly have a very vibrant um, arts community. We, we treasure the arts and the history and the culture um, in this community and we celebrate it. I firmly believe that New Iberia is becoming a center for art, theater, and culture because we have so many of those events here and it has become quite a priority for our community. Not only has it become a priority, but the community has embraced it and enjoyed every single one of these performances. And so we think that it's going to just continue and get better and better. We have downtown art walks, we have an art gallery, and it brings out a lot of people who enjoy that type of art and theater. Each of the three organizations does have a website. Ours is www.iberiacultural.org. I believe the others are Shadows on the Tesh and the Bayou Tesh Museum is the other one.